Welcome to another UFO comparison video. This one is versus the Phase 2. The Phase 2 has been the flagship strong ball for Storm for the last several years. Even though it's symmetric, it's seen as the ball for tournament bowlers, as most don't need any more hook or traction than that, and the symmetric core produces a smoother and more controllable reaction. There are occasions when you just need more traction and shape, though, and while most bigger hooking ASIMs just increase traction, the UFO increases both and makes them effective. The Phase 2 I'm showing here is brand new, and we're on the 2019 USBC Open Championship singles and doubles pattern. As far as pure traction goes, the Phase 2 has enough to nearly hang out with any ball out there. From straight, it's strong and controllable, which is exactly what you want out of a ball when they're tough. You want to get traction through the oil so the ball doesn't go too long and then jerk at the end of the pattern. This helps keep your angles in check, and it helps deliver effective ball motion. I know you've heard me harp on that point quite a bit recently, but hook, shape, and really any other facet of ball motion is completely useless unless it's effective and helps you get the pins down. That's ultimately the goal. The Phase 2 does this very well, that's why you see it on TV all the time in the pros' hands and in better bowlers' bags across the country. It may not always come out depending on the pattern, but there are very few people who own one or more that don't take at least one or more with them wherever they go. If the opportunity to use it presents itself, I'm going to take full advantage. It controls the lane and gives you a powerful motion at and through the pins, but as you've seen here on a couple shots, when you run into true volume and the conditions start getting on the longer side, at some point a symmetric ball just isn't going to get it done, especially as you move deeper because the torque just isn't there on the back end to get it to move. When it hits late, it starts getting flat, so the effectiveness of pocket hits begins to decline as well. This is where the UFO shines and what it's designed for. From straighter angles, it can actually be too much, and the strength and the move on the back end is just more than you need. Most of the time, as the lanes transition and burn up, people will naturally go to weaker balls that would get down the lane and use track burn as hook or the bumper to help the ball finish. However, on patterns like this that are so heavy and on the longer side, the amount of friction you need just may not ever exist. The head burn will force you left, but the track may not ever get developed enough for symmetric balls to be truly effective. If you use more surface to help you get earlier traction, you're going to further reduce the back end move and find yourself in over under territory. The UFO has the traction without needing a crazy amount of surface and the torque and shape down lane to hook through the sludge and produce results. As you saw in the other comparison videos, even the Halo and Physics couldn't quite keep up without extra help from me, and as I move inside, the UFO allows me to maintain my physical execution without having to adjust several different things at the same time. The fewer adjustments you have to make as the lane transitions, the more consistent you'll be, and the better your results will be. The UFO is obviously a very strong ball that won't be in play as much as something like the Phase 2, but I also think this video illustrates the need and use for this kind of option. Something like urethane or lower end reactives also don't get used much, but can be the most vital options in your bag when you need them because everyone is going to score when the conditions are more favorable. It's when they get tough and you need those fringe reactions that the difference shows up, and that might be the difference between you making a cut and winning brackets or not. Thanks for watching. Hey, <laughs> hey,